Hey guys, so this isn't a regular travel tips video. I felt inspired to record this video earlier today, but um, I'm just now getting around to it. So if you're looking for travel tips or for me to be in my regular, you know, fun mood, um, I'm going to disappoint you in this one. So maybe you don't want to watch this and that's okay. I'm just making this video more so for me. So... Today is July 20th, I believe, and, you know, I've been working really hard on these videos. I've been dedicating a lot of time and energy and money and time more than anything to going around and doing these different things and some things I'm... I'm doing more than once just so that I get the most information that I can to really accurately give my guidance, my advice, my tips to you guys, you know? Um, there's a museum that I've gone to twice already, and I think I'm going to come back to this museum where I'm recording from today. This is not my house, believe me. Like, if you have a house that looks like this in Lima, you got money. <laughs> or um, you inherited a really nice house with an actual backyard in your house. But um, I'm at a museum, and I'm probably going to have to come back to this one to do it again just so that I get as much information as I can um, for when I actually record the video. And so anyway, I've been working really hard and last week I went out to a bunch of different events and stuff because I was getting a lot of information to record one video and then I really felt like I needed rest. Um, I took it a little bit easy on Saturday and then I totally did nothing on Sunday and did nothing on Monday and Monday, which was yesterday. Um, again, July 19th, 2023, I believe, I felt just, I don't know, with like no energy. And I've been wanting to get back up and like keep making progress with my videos because I know me and I know how my energy fluctuates and I know that sometimes life gets in the way and I don't want to potentially fall behind with my videos because I know, to me at least, I feel like, I feel like I've let a lot of you down because I haven't been on here in years and I'm just now coming back on again and I'm doing my best to be consistent and I'm doing my best to every week um, be ahead of my content creation schedule and to make videos in advance so that when I have my down days I don't feel all this pressure to you know force myself to do things when I'm not really feeling it and so I, I am ahead I think at this point right now I'm two weeks ahead or maybe three weeks I'm not sure but um like I've had two rest days and I wanted to you know get around to doing stuff because I've created my schedule for what I want to do and I just feel like I have to keep rescheduling when I'm going to do this activity and that activity and and then today which is Tuesday so again I've rested Sunday and Monday I didn't do anything but just hang out with myself and watch tv and Tuesday today you know I felt so sluggish and I didn't know what to do I didn't know if it was like unconscious resistance, because for those of you that may not know, you know, I'm into the personal development, spiritual stuff, and I study my mind a lot and my thoughts, my beliefs, and my emotional state. Like, I'm super hyper aware of a lot of things. And um, I was wondering, like, am I feeling heavy today? Am I feeling unmotivated because I have resistance to doing? these videos am I unconsciously trying to self-sabotage or is it because I'm just truly meant to rest right now and I'm trying to push myself to go out and go to that museum and record this stuff for the video and I'm going against what I really want like I couldn't really figure it out and as I was kind of sitting there feeling heavy and not really knowing what to do I um 
I just decided, like, you know what, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna make this as easy as possible for myself, kind of like when I started making the videos in the first place, but then I started with the fruits. And I was like, I'm going to take a taxi. It's not that much to get over there by taxi. So that's going to make it easier for me. I love traveling by bus um, around Lima because it lets me people watch and it lets me be with my thoughts. <laughs> and um, but, you know, I was like, I don't think I can be bothered to take a taxi and try to navigate my way to this museum. So I'm just going to take a taxi. It's the easiest way. And I need to get out the house and I need to you know, get out, out of these four walls and just be, you know, out there in an open space and be around nature or whatever. And so I took a taxi and then I came here and I wanted to record the video as soon as I got here, but there was like all these kids um, coming to the museum and I was like, you know what, let me just go and do the stuff at the museum and then I'll record afterwards. So luckily I found this little spot. They have a bunch of benches where I'm sitting down recording this from. But as I started recording, oh, on the way, on the way here in the taxi, I just felt so sad. I felt so, so sad and I couldn't understand why. And I just wanted to cry. And then I thought about it and I was like, oh my God, the stupid full moon in Cancer yesterday, July 19th. I was like, it's the full moon in Cancer stuff. It's making me emotional. I don't know why it's making me like feel heavy and whatever. And I don't know why. And I'm just sharing this, I don't know, for myself because, like, I'm not a machine. I'm not a machine to constantly work and I'm trying to always find balance with doing enough and not uh, pushing myself more than is healthy. Because when I have things in the back of my mind, things that I want to do, I feel a lot of pressure. If you guys know anything about human design, I have an open, no, I have a defined root um, center. And that means I have a consistent source of energy coming through, like, pressured, like, to do things. And that's me. And um, so anyway, I felt sad and I was kind of trying not to cry in the taxi and I was like it's okay to be sad though I don't understand why I'm sad but it's okay to be sad you know I'm just gonna let it be okay and then once I got to this museum I started feeling a little bit better my sadness started going away I guess I just needed maybe to acknowledge it or something I have no idea and I'm not bipolar or any of that stuff like for anyone wondering I'm fine it's just that I'm a woman. Women have ever fluctuating hormones and we go through different phases in life and we're all different. And I'm a very sensitive woman who's very in tune with her body and with the energy and the ebbs and flows. And I'm just letting y'all know because um, I have recently looked at my analytics on YouTube and I see that a large part of my audience is men. And I just want to let y'all know, like, who you're dealing with, I guess, like, how I am in the world. Um, you know, one of the things that made me kind of sad on the way over here is because I was just feeling so heavy, so sad, and I didn't want to record in that energy because I love giving people my best self on the internet, anywhere. I love lifting people up. Oh my god, I got boogers. I love making people smile and laugh and feel good. I really come to understand. Um, that I'm such a bright light and you know everywhere I go when people get to see the real me and all my craziness and randomness and I don't know just me I really lift people up and I, I wanted to really record today's video and that energy and I just felt like I couldn't and I felt like I was gonna I don't know maybe fail in some way 
let people down. And I especially don't want people. I don't want to let people down on this channel. Because I do my best to try to be a person of my word. And to follow through with the things that I say I'm going to do. The things that I'm, you know, promising to deliver. And I guess sometimes it's just frustrating for me to have these ebbs and flows and not be a machine. It's like I, part of me wants to be a machine and just get things done because I have a lot of Capricorn in my chart for anyone who knows astrology. I think I have like five placements, which means basically that I'm very driven and I'm very much about getting shit done. And when I feel like I can't get it done, I don't know. And I feel like I'm going to let people down. Things are not going to move forward because I'm not showing up the way I think I'm supposed to. I don't know. So that's just what I was going through today, what I was feeling, what I'm moving myself through right now. Um, I've been on a journey of learning that my inherent value isn't directly tied to what I do. You know, I think a lot of us feel like our value comes from the money we have, the things that we have, the things that we're supposed to do for others or we can do for others. And I've had to go on a journey because, again, I'm in personal development and spirituality and stuff and healing. And I've had to go on a journey of, like, understanding I am enough just as I am. I am enough just as I am. I am worthy and deserving just as I am. I don't have to do anything to receive or to be loved or to be worthy I just need to exist but every so often I guess I come across things that kind of trigger me in some way of like working through that some more you know and um anyway once I got over here to the museum and I started feeling better and started going around filming and stuff I just I felt so grateful I felt so grateful because just felt grateful that I pushed myself to do this just like I did the last time with the fruit you know when I first started making these videos here I pushed myself to like get over the hump of or the resistance and to do it and then I got into flow and I was in a really good flow and I was so proud of myself because I've been pumping out content but then I came up against this you know sluggish time and you know I, I pushed through again and once I did that I felt better and here I am now, and I feel good, and I, I'm just so grateful because I pushed through when I needed to. Sometimes it's not the best thing to push through and to just instead take a step back, but in this case, I, I pushed through and feel good, and I feel like that's a sign that it was the right thing to do for me at this time, and grateful because I have this project, basically, you know, working on this channel, making these videos, doing this. If it wasn't for this channel, I probably would be at home and not feeling good or I don't know. Maybe just feeling frustrated with myself because I've recently gone through a little millennial crisis of just feeling a little bit lost in my life and not knowing. Um, not knowing a lot of things, not knowing how my life is going to come together the way that I've always dreamed for it to come together. And this YouTube channel is my project right now that I'm getting to work on. And it's giving me a sense of purpose, you know, and it's helping me to get out of the house and be in beautiful places like this. You know, it's the first time I come to this museum and I'm, I'm grateful for this museum. Like, this is... This outdoor space is so beautiful and I'm grateful to be recording here, you know, for this moment. And um, I'm just grateful that, you know, this project is helping me to get out there because, like I said, last year, or not last year, last week, I went out and did a lot of socializing and stuff in order to make an upcoming video. I met some pretty cool people and I'm like, wow, you know, this project is helping me to get out to see new things to be in new environments to meet new people to give my life purpose right now even though I don't know where I'm going and how this is going to tie into 
my life vision, but I'm just doing it right now and giving it my best. And, you know, if it wasn't for this channel, what would I be doing right now? How would I be feeling? And I'm just really grateful. I'm grateful to all of you who have received me so well since I've returned. Thank you so much for always supporting me and, you know, liking my videos or disliking it if you don't like what I showed or shared. Um, for commenting on my videos. Some of you have been commenting, you know, on every single video. <laughs> and I appreciate you so much. And um, it means a lot to me. It means a lot to know that at least for that moment that you watch my videos, that I add value to your life in some way. That I teach you something new, that I help you feel more prepared for when you decide to come to Peru, that I just make you laugh in some way with my crazy shenanigans in some of my videos. I don't know, but I'm grateful. I really am. So, yeah, this is how I feel um, right now. I'm not sure when I'm going to publish this video, um, if I'll do it right away or if I'll do it later, but I'm fine. <laughs> By the time you watch this, I'll probably be fine. I'm fine now. I'm doing better now. You know, I'm glad that I came out here and I got what I needed for today and I feel good about that, you know, like, okay. Um, yeah, I just, you know, if you guys pray, keep me in your prayers, and just pray for me that, that I achieve what I desire and that I achieve true happiness and joy, because that's basically what I'm in the search of right now. How can I really be happy? How can I find joy in my life? I think that's the most important thing, or one of the most important things in life. It's being happy, truly, truly happy. And I'm trying to find what really makes me happy. And I know that helping people has always made me happy. And traveling has always made me happy. Sightseeing, you know exploring new things has always made me happy being in the middle of nature makes me happy and I'm trying to expose myself to that as much as possible and share some of that with you guys to help you on your own journeys and um yeah that's basically what I wanted to share today so the intention is to post three videos a week to my account um I don't know, at some point maybe I'll have to reduce that to once a week or just twice a week. It just depends. I go through ebbs and flows and there are some periods where I have so much energy because the astrology is literally supporting that on some level. And so I do all the things, oh my god, this group of school kids is coming this way, I think. Yeah, but basically I um, go, you know, all like gun ho or whatever and I just like do so much and then there are periods where I'm just like very slow or inward or I feel like I need a break from social media and I step away and I disappear and I ghost everyone <laughs> Aquarius Aquarius is notorious for ghosting <laughs> so um so you know but that's that's what I need for my mental health for my well-being for what I feel is right in the line for me in that moment so yeah, I'll do my best to be consistent, um, but just please know and understand that I'm not a machine, even though part of me sometimes wants to be, <laughs> and I'm just doing my best every day, and I'm doing my best to be consistent here. Um, my intention right now is just to be as consistent as I can till the end of the year while I'm finding myself and figuring things out, and then we'll see we'll go from there um but yeah 
that's basically what I wanted to share today. If you watch this, thanks for watching it and hanging out with me. Um, you know, thank you for being invested in me as a person and not just subscribing to my channel just because of the things that I can share with you about Peru, but because you actually care about me. You know, that means a lot to me. gonna get wrinkles <laughs> and I don't want them I gotta age age like fine wine so yeah that's what I wanted to say all right thank you and I'm fine <laughs> don't worry about me um I got I got people close to me that help me through the difficult things and you know I'm good with that, but if you want to send me prayers, if you want to send me words of love and support, you know, you can, um, but you don't have to worry about me. I'm fine. I just wanted to share where I was at and the fact that, you know, the stuff that you see in most of my videos where I'm happy and crazy or whatever, you know, that's who I am in the moment, but I'm not that all the time. I'm not, you know, a ball of sunshine all the time. Sometimes I'm very much introverted and quiet and inward and yeah, that's just, that's me, you know, I'm an, an ambivert. <laughs> so sometimes I'm out there and sometimes I'm here and I don't want anyone else in my space other than the people close to me. So that's basically it. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.